A healthcare worker in Texas has reportedly become the first person to contract the Ebola virus in the United States. The worker reportedly came in contact with Thomas Eric Duncan, the Liberian national who died of Ebola Wednesday at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas. The Texas Department of State Health Services said Sunday that the patient had been isolated for further testing after reporting a fever Friday and testing positive during a preliminary test. A close contact has also been proactively placed in isolation. We are also continuing to monitor all staff who had some relation to Mr. Duncan's care even if they are not assumed to be at significant risk of infection. The department also said it has interviewed the patient and will continue to attempt to track people the healthcare worker might have come in contact with. The hospital has been criticized for its handling of Duncan's case, initially turning him away despite his symptoms, before ultimately admitting and diagnosing him. Duncan was finally diagnosed at the end of September, and in the weeks since, fear over the virus has swept through American media outlets, some examples being more extreme than others. A Pew poll conducted over the first week of October found that about a third of responders were somewhat to very concerned about being exposed to Ebola. It's gotten to the point, as the Washington Post reports, where some hospitals are preparing for Ebola panic, hiring more people ahead of expected increased traffic in ERs as people are more conscious of possible symptoms. This latest case probably won't help with all the panic. The health worker is reportedly in stable condition, and we'll continue to update you as more information is made available. For Newsy, I'm Sebastián Martínez.